are going to the island of Egglesay, which is one of the small islands of the Orkney archipelago. But what's uh, significant about it is it's where St. Magnus was martyred on the 16th of April, probably in the year 1117, 900 years ago. So I'm looking forward now to, to the Mass this morning as we go out to uh, Egglesay to see the place where St. Magnus was, was martyred. 900 years ago, so that will be I, a, a good experience. It's lovely to be here with so many people from Aberdeen Diocese as well, including of course quite a few people from the parish here in Orkney, and uh, so that, that will be good. And of course we've got the Mass of Peace as well, so obviously he was a, a victim of violence, so we'll be reflecting on that and his own witness, and I suppose uh, the world today and the need of peace and figures like Magnus to, to give witness and example to Christ. We are going to be celebrating Mass there. It's, it's a partially ruined church now, but we are going out there to uh, honour his martyrdom. You're all very welcome and um, keep the prayers up because the clouds are coming over. <laughs> so, um, and just enjoy. Yes, so, thank um, you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. It's a great honour to be celebrating with you this first Mass of the Diocese of Aberdeen pilgrimage to Orkney for the 900, St Magnus 900 celebrations and we're very grateful to Bishop Hugh for inviting the bishops that are here, um, bishops of, of the, the conference, uh, Bishops Conference of Scotland but also um, Bishop of Oslo, um, uh, and uh, the Bishop of Copenhagen and also the auxiliary Bishop from, from Westminster. Yes, it's my first time in Scotland as yeah. well. Although I have known many of the priests and bishops for a long time, studied with some of them in Rome, so I've always wanted to go here and now this occasion came up for the celebration of St. Magnus, so I brought it from the invitation of Bishop Hughes and I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I happen to be the Apostolic Administrator of Trondheim or Nidaros as it was in medieval times and the Bishop of Oslo. Orkney was a part of the Norwegian Kingdom. The population spoke Norwegian and was of Norwegian roots. And we stand today on this island where St Magnus stretched out his hand in order to achieve peace and reconciliation in his day. And as we come here and gather and celebrate a Mass in his honour, hopefully we also try to honour him by imitating him and like him trying to achieve peace in our day. Well, I think he is a model of a Christian ruler. Uh, we see so many signs in politics that uh, the law of God is uh, left out and religion is uh, ignored. 
and uh, we know as Christians that uh, this uh, uh, ignorance of religion or leaving it out uh, is uh, part of the cause for the troubles of the world today. For us this is still the part of Norvegia Sacra or Holy Norway because he was a at least second most important saint and martyr. So it's quite a moving thing for me to be here for the first time. First of all, I'm with a very friendly group of the Scottish Bishops' Conference and my colleague from Copenhagen and the Bishop from Westminster. Uh, but also the people here are very friendly, and the pilgrims from uh, Aberdeen.